So we understand that the P2 minus P1 difference of pressure in liquids is H rho G. So I have taken liquid element. Now think that the liquid element is replaced by a substance, say a wooden block inside the liquid, inside the water, or an iron marble inside the water. So whenever the liquid element is replaced by some substance which is not having density equal to the liquid density, then what happens? Let us see. So we understand P2 minus P1 equal to H rho G. Right? Now H into rho is a density. So density formula is mass by volume into G equal to H into mass by what is volume? Area into height. Remember, already we discussed area into height into G. Height, height cancelled. So what you are getting? M into G by A. Now this is nothing but P2 minus P1. Now take area to the left hand side. So P2 minus P1 into area equal to mg. I know that you are something thinking about this mg. What is mg? Well, mg is nothing but weight. Weight of the substance. Now P2 minus P1 is a pressure change or pressure difference into area. Pressure difference area is means what? It is nothing but force. So now what happened force equal to weight of the substance that means if in this container which is filled with water filled with water and there is a substance it's a wooden block wooden block inside the water then what happened the wooden block weight wt downward weight is equal to force this force is acting in upward so the weight is balanced by the upward force and this upward force F is, is called buoyant force already I have mentioned in the previous discussion buoyant force. So we have learned that buoyant force is the upward force acting on the substance in the liquid and this buoyant force equal to weight of the liquid but do you think that always buoyant force is equal to weight of the liquid? or there is a difference between weight of the liquid and buoyant force. Let us find. Before going to that, first of all you have to know how to find the buoyant force. Now see here, I have taken a spring balance, a spring balance which is having spring inside at the hook and this hook consists of a block of substance and the spring balance is having the scale like this and it will have a pointer also a pointer which point out the weight now first step what I have done I have put the load or the wood some wooden load block to this hook so the spring stretches and the pointer goes down, it shows some weight. So the weight is W1. Now take a measuring cylinder. It is a measuring cylinder having the graduations like this, right, and filled with water. Let us say the initial level of the water, this is the initial level of the water, say this is V1, volume of the water. Now bring this system and put such a manner that this substance should immerse into the water. See, I am drawing diagram here. See, now the block is immersed into the water with the spring balance. Now what happens, the pointer before immersing it shows here, now the pointer little rises up, little rises up. Now take that pointer weight is W2, 
still you observe carefully whenever the body is immersed in the measuring cylinder water level also rises water level also rises up now take the new water level which is v2 then what happened whenever the block put inside the water the water rises up means this block displaces the water so the displaced water displaced water is nothing but equals to v2 minus v1 the displaced water and this is equation 1 and here the weight is w1 say 20 grams when immersed in the water say the pointer rises up shows 15 grams initially 20 now it is 15 means weight decreased or increased decreased weight decreased means what the body lost some weight and that is called apparent apparent loss of weight and this apparent loss of weight is equals to w1 minus w2 now the question comes that why the body lost weight i told you earlier whenever any body inside the liquid it it ex, it experiences some upward force and that upward force is buoyant force so that buoyant force that buoyant force is nothing but equal to apparent loss of weight apparent loss of weight of substance and it is also equal to displaced i'm sorry weight of displaced water so to find buoyant force no need to go for new instruments either you can find apparent loss of weight by taking the seeing the readings of spring balance or you can just see the change in the volume that the change in volume is nothing but the buoyant force